In this episode, we will continue to explore Wenzhou, a beautiful port city located in the southeastern province of Zhejiang, China. Known for its entrepreneurial spirit, Wenzhou's cuisine emphasizes freshness and a delicate balance of flavors. Its landscapes combine natural and historical wonders, offering visitors a comprehensive experience of Chinese culture. In the morning, we went with friends to enjoy a meal at Jiajia's hot pot restaurant. We had a large plate of fresh ingredients. First, they heated the oil and then stir fried pork belly until it was brown. After the aroma of pork belly came out, they added chicken and side dishes to the pot and stir fried them until they were caramelized to release more flavor. Then, they poured in prepared sauce and added water to stew until everything was well cooked. On the look and the taste of the sauce, I'm guessing there are that soy sauce, oyster oil, sugar, red pepper, starch, five spices, powder, and MSG were used. A classic combination in Chinese cuisine. Lastly, they attached the freshly kneaded dough pieces to the side of the pot. Half of the dough pieces soaked in the liquid while the other half was pressed thin on the edge of the pot to get a crispy texture. Cover and let it simmer for a while, then it was ready to eat. The pork belly was crispy and able to carry more broth because it was stir fried, making it rich in salty and umami flavor. The dough pieces were thick and chewy, but also crispy and aromatic. You get to enjoy two delightful tastes in one bite. But my favorite way to eat was with rice soaked in the broth, blending the essence of all ingredients together, offering a multi-layered taste and texture enjoyment that Chinese people love. Just beware, it is still hot out of the pot. Next, we went to a lean meatball place. Meatballs in Wenzhou often take shape of strips. The owner picked spices like cilantro and green onion based on customers' preferences. Then she scooped a chunk of pre-blended and flavored meat starch mixture onto a plate. Wet it with water to prevent sticking and shift the mixture into strips, then drop it into boiling water. While the meatballs are cooking, she also pours water into bowls to prepare the seaweed soup base. The meatballs are wonderfully bouncy and bursting with umami flavor. The soup base is delightfully light and savory. With a touch of sourness from vinegar, this easily ranks as my favorite food from Wenzhou. After the meal, we went to check out a small store near a secondary school, a place my girlfriend often visited after class. Our next stop is Jiangxing Island. The name literally means island in the middle of the river, which is situated in the middle reaches of the Ojiang River, covering an area of about 70,000 square meters. This island is not only a natural paradise, but also a place steeped in cultural history. Its architectural wonders include the Jiangxing Temple and the distinctive East and West Pagodas. We spent the day roaming the entire island and felt hungry, so we went to a coconut chicken restaurant in the night. Coconut chicken is a part of Hainan cuisine. The server made a dipping sauce with bird eye chili, garlic, lime, and soy sauce, and then filled the pot with coconut water.
When the coconut water starts boiling, pour in the fresh free-range chicken. The chicken is only cooked for a short time, just until it's cooked through, so the meat retains its juice and original flavor. Without any additional flavoring, the chicken is ready to be enjoyed. The broth is not only refreshing, but comes with a natural sweetness from coconut water. Although there's not even salt, it's in fact amazingly flavorful. You have to try to believe it. The meat is positively crunchy. Normally, the chicken in chicken broths are boiled long time, so it kind of breaks down. But this one is not. You can feel it in your mouth that the muscle fiber is still quite lively. The dipping sauce adds another dimension to the flavor. The sourness of the lime and the spiciness of the chili perfectly balanced the sweetness from coconut. After that, we had a soy sauce fried rice with Cantonese sausage. And some regulars for hot pot, nothing too special. After we drank most of the chicken broth, the server added water to our pot so it doesn't dry out. But it's no longer the original soup anymore and becomes less precious and flavorful. This is usually the point to cook and enjoy the hot pot food, such as wedges and meat slices. Later in the night, after so much working during the day, we decided to have some proper relaxation with massage. <laughs> then we returned to our hotel. Not because I was hungry, but because I love lean meatball soup so much. I decided to have an additional meal for the night by ordering takeout. A bowl of lean meatball soup and a wrap cost only 4.25 US dollars, including the delivery fee. Surprisingly, the food was delivered by a robot. What a time to be alive! The takeout lean meatball didn't taste as amazing as it did on site, but it was still impressive, especially considering how little it cost and that it was delivered to my doorstep so late at night. That's the end of part 2 of my Wenzhou tour. If you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in part 1 of this series. Our next stop is Jindezhen, a world famous town for ceramics. Remember to hit the like button if you like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more China related content. Thank you and see you in my next video.